Hi guys, thanks for joining me for my daily cocktail vlog. Today I'm going to show you how to make crystal clear ice at home. Now it's relatively easy, a lot of people don't realize this, but the only limiting factor is the size of your freezer. So if you can fit a little six pack esky like this, then it's perfect. Try not to use a foam esky. The ice expands when it freezes, it really sort of locks in place. I normally use a uh, hard plastic esky. You let it sit for half an hour and the ice slides right out. So the method is called directional freezing. So it freezes from the top to the bottom and pushes all the impurities and the oxygen out because it's insulated around the sides. Normally freeze for 24 hours, take it out, rest it for half hour to an hour, and then you should be able to turn it upside down and slide it out nice and easy. One good tip is to put a hole in the bottom of the esky and put a bung in it before you put it in the freezer. One to two inches aren't gonna freeze in that 24 hour period. And then when it's done, you can just pull out the bung, let it drain uh, like I have now. And it makes it a lot easier as long as you're using a hard esky, not this little shitty foam one. Um, so anyways, so it's already been drained. And the added advantage of having a hole in the bottom is you could utilize your spoon to to actually push it through as well. So there we go. So this is actually only a relatively small piece. So you can just break off all the excess pieces. There's not a lot of excess here because I've already uh, been running the outside of the esky under warm water. So it's melted quite a bit. So as you can see there, that's pretty nice and clear. Basically, you just want to chip away all these little extra pieces that you've got on it. It's a lot easier if you're going to use a chef's knife. I've only got this little baby thing, uh, but make sure you've got a serrated knife. Score it, and then using your chisel and your mallet. And it should come apart nice and easy. There you go, so it's nice. Relatively clean cut. Then once you've prepped all your crystal clear ice, then put it in a plastic bag and keep it in the freezer for the next for the next week worth of cocktails. So we've also got the all clear for manufacturing liquor products, which is awesome. So we're gonna actually start bottling the Grony's Old Fashions and do some limited release uh, barrel aged cocktails as well. I'll put a link below so you can find out some more information about that. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow for another cocktail video. Cheers.